Lab. On the bench this morning I have two Dynaco PAS preamps. These are both purchased off of eBay and of course both of them were a huge disappointment when they arrived. This one has been highly modified by this company called uh, CURCIO. I can't pronounce it but they make kits. This one unfortunately turned out to be a nasty buzzy mess. Completely unusable. Then, the same guy purchased this unit. You can see that somebody's put a nice little cap in the front. Must have had a mod at one time. But there's also been some carving going on in the back. The chassis is severely corroded. Good thing is the power transformer tests okay. So what my plan is, is we're going to take these two units and combine them. This chassis is decent. This one's not. I'm going to move the components, the original boards, over here, power transformer here, and we're going to end up with one good Dynaco PAS. And as a bonus, I'm also going to be installing a new D-Lab power supply board. This board integrates the main filter cap, the 12 volt DC filter caps, and relay switching for the two switch outlets on the back of the preamp. So the owner will end up with one good unit when we're finished. I'm going to start out by scrapping out the units. We'll start with the nasty one that I need to harvest the good boards and power transformers from. Luckily, I have a manual that shows the original wiring. We're going to put one of these right back to stock condition. So I've got the old corroded unit stripped out as far as I want to go at this point. You can see these nice cutouts in the back. This chassis is really butchered up. But I do need to reuse this volume pot because on the modified unit over here you can see they have a replacement in there and that is not the correct value. I do plan to use the tone controls and all the selector switches on the modified unit because they're in much better condition than this old corroded one. Alright, another thing I need to point out, you see I still have the old original two prong Dynaco power cord. That will go on to our new rebuilt unit. These three prong cords are not good to use on your Dynaco preamp. They'll induce ground loops and you'll have this uncontrollable hum in your audio. Keep the stock two prong cord. I'm going to start unmodding this other PAS preamp. Tilting this board back I can still see that the 12x4 tube socket is there. That's a good thing because I plan to use that on our new build, but one thing I noticed that really didn't settle too well with me the old filter cap is still installed and guess what it was rewired into their new updated Dynaco. Now why would you install all these mods and then use a 50 year old filter cap? Alright I've got everything I need now to start the stock build of the Dynaco PAS. We have our old boards tubes, power transformer, knobs, the volume control, and a nice faceplate. It's time to get her built up. Alright, I've got the boards in place, power transformer, everything is ready to be wired. The D-Lab power supply board will sit right there. Okay, mission complete. I've got the two Dyna PS preamps merged as one. Let me show you how she came out and then we'll give it a test using my oscilloscope. Alright, here it is. The completed Dynaco preamp faceplate from the good unit, including the original knobs. Very nice. Inside, we have the boards that were transferred onto this chassis, the D-Lab power supply module with a relay that turns on the high current for external amplifiers. I ended up having to rewire the entire tone section. Whoever put in the modification completely disabled the tone system but luckily all the original pots were still there. This is the volume pot that was stolen from the other unit. The 12AX7's all turned out to be great there's the old rusty power transformer, but it's okay too. Bottom side, I tried to wire it 
as per the original Dynaco spec. This thing looks and works like a million bucks. Let me put it on the scope and show you the signal. I got the preamp hooked up. We're looking at the left channel at this time and using a leader audio generator as my input source. We're going to go to the phono input. And I got my oscillating television looking at that output signal. And there it is. Nice and clean. This little PAS is working perfectly. So success for D-Lab Electronics. I was able to take the two POS preamps and turn them into one nice PAS preamp for the owner. Unfortunately, he had to feel the pain of eBay before he brought it to me. But I can tell you what, D-Lab can take these Dynaco preamps and I can turn it into a Dyna into a dynamite preamp for you.